Hello, hello. What's up, Scorpio? What's going on, babies? I hope you guys are doing well. I hope you guys are feeling motivated. Moving forward and up. Making it do what it do, babies. Making it do what it do. To my subscribers, welcome back, darlings. To those of you who are new to my channel, I am Lee. I will be bringing you the tea, baby. I keep it real, so it might get a little raw and reckless up in here. But my intentions is to never hurt your feelings. So please take what's for you and what's not for you. You leave it behind. Today we will be exploring, seeing where you at in your soul's journey. We will be diving into the deep dark oracles, you know, because where there's light, there is dark. We need to know. We need to know. Okay, darlings, we're going to check into your heart space. We're going to go right into the truth. And then where spirit goes, we will follow. Spirit ancestors, angel guides, you are welcome into the room for a general Scorpio read. Scorpio, I want to thank you guys because we have been moving, growing, and doing, okay? We've been hitting them thresholds, and I have you guys to thank for it. You bring light into my life, and I appreciate you guys for it. So please don't be shy. Please subscribe, like, comment, share. Let's interact, okay? Let's help each other, help each other. Tell a friend to tell a friend. Tell a tea with Lee. I'm going to bring you the tea, baby. Here we go. Here we go. Spirit, ancestors, angel guys, picking up on the energy of our Scorpios. What do they need to know? What do they need to hear? Clear messages for our Scorpios. Ghostlands. Uh-oh. Ghostlands. It feels cold. It feels empty. We have faces that we can't make out. We have time. Mm -hmm. So, it feels like time is ticking. Time is ticking or... Uh, <coughs> excuse me. Let's see, let's see for our Scorpios. Let's see what the books say, baby. Ghostlands, you can learn from the past and imagine a beautiful future. But you must live in the here and now. Outstanding. Whenever you set your sights too far ahead, you run the risk of losing your footing. For rarely do the present and future match up exactly on the enchanted map. That is your life story. The future has no substance right now. It is a place that has no grounding as of yet. You can't live there. Yet, you can take measured steps toward a goal or dream. These steps are important now. The same goes for nostalgia. You can look into the past wistfully and remember beautiful moments or revisit lessons learned. However, you can't live there, nor can you go back and change what was. Yesterday is gone forever live fully in the present the now is the most powerful place to put your attention its magic reaches out in every direction further than the heart and soul can see yes darling it's time to live in the moment okay you can work towards the future you can prepare yourself towards future goals, what you want to do, how you want to do it, where you want to be in an X, Y, minus time, but it's best to do what you can now, okay, and, and, and when you, we have a golden palace, babe, ooh, we have a golden palace, but inside is cold. Okay. So, working towards what you want, remembering the lessons learned in the past. You know, you don't want to keep creating or doing the same thing over and over if it's not benefiting you in some kind of way. Um, yet, 
appreciating and being grateful for the things that are in your life now. What is now? What can you do now? How can you um, benefit in the now? How can you grow now? Okay? Although, of course, you have goals, you have dreams, you have inspirations, you want to do this, you want to do that, and that's all great and dandy, but you need to start preparing yourself now. Okay, darlings? So, let's see, let's see, let's dive. You're about to dive deep, deep into the dark, dangerous oracle. Or our Scorpios. Here we go, darlings. Can we get one? Spirit ancestors, angel guides for our Scorpios. Oh, that's too many. Way too many. Way too many. Clear, concise messages. For our Scorpios, vengeance, oh shit, and the underworld, that underworld card, that shit comes out a lot, underworld, so vengeance, mm. vengeance, number 31, Revenge. Vengeance. Revenge can feel good for a time. But it is a hollow victory. Yeah, that that Ghostlands, that's how it feels. It feels hollow. It feels empty. It looks cold. Like like getting lost. Like someone is losing themselves or uh but it is a hollow victory. Allow yourself to leave a cycle of negativity. Justice will be done. Only you can choose to forgive someone else. You may or may not choose to forgive someone of their transgressions, but you forgive for yourself and not for others. So, Scorpio, revenge. So, there may be something that has you feeling like um, you need to set something right with someone. Or that um, an eye for an eye is going to make you feel better. And it may, for a moment. For a moment. But um, it seems like in time, it will cause you to feel um, empty. Or cold. Or like not yourself. Not yourself. Um, it's making me feel like. Um, it's like. It's like taking revenge. Feeling good in the moment. But then. Especially with this. The underworld, the underworld and ghost lands is like losing yourself. It's like losing yourself. Um, like, um, hmm, karma's a bitch. Okay, karma's a bitch. So, if you want to take actions towards someone that may have wronged you, um, and you decide that you're either going to hurt them either equally or worse that the consequence will be yours um you can allow for the universe to handle it and therefore their karma will be their karma or you can take part in the shenanigans and end up empty in the inside on the outside you may feel fine, you may look fine, you may, um, you may feel, or people may see you as, let me rephrase, people may see you as, you're okay, you're doing good for yourself, um, you're great, right, on the outside, on the outside is beautiful, on the outside is gold, on the outside, but it's still on the edge of that cliff, and on the inside, it's empty. 
So you may need to listen to your intuition with that next card coming up being listening. Uh, so let's dip into your heart space. Let's see what you got going on in your heart space. Because we don't want to linger too much in the dark and get lost. Right, Scorpio? Mm -mm. We want to figure it out so we can do the right thing and move forward with good intentions. Here we go, here we go. Can we get one spirit? We got two. Present. Again, live in the present. It's like it's like you holding on to some type of grudge. It's like holding on to some type of grudge and thinking that if you can just get this person back, if you can just hurt them the way they hurt you, if you can just have the opportunity that is going to make you feel better, and it may at the moment, at the moment, but it's going to cause some type of reaction within your spirit that is going to uh, that's not even a word <laughs> that's going to it's going to cause you to be or to get or to feel cold inside empty inside present you live in the moment and are able to bring forth the energy of love in your current circumstances compassion you demonstrate the language of the heart by actively sharing and living love discernment you are developing the skill to distinguish love from fear and truth from illusion okay baby so have good judgment okay have good judgment um Sometimes uh, people do things that cause us to be a little bitter and um, and you take that with you and you hold on to that shit and uh, if you hold on to it too long, okay, it's like having good fruit next to a rotten fruit, putting them together and expecting the good fruit to stay good. No, it's going to rot, okay, the fumes. The, the, I don't know, I'm not a scientist, but there's something that goes on with that shit that creates some type of bacteria, some type of something that destroys the whole batch. Okay? So, it may start off as being something that is small, something that, well, it may be small to someone else. Okay? To you, it doesn't feel small. To you, it doesn't feel so small at all. To you, if it feels like uh, what's done to you, you will do to another, okay? Or to that person. Because hopefully, you're not going to be a hurt person that hurt another person, okay? Hurt people hurt people. And hopefully, you're not one of those people. Okay, darlings? Revenge comes with consequences. Those consequences can run deep, so in your soul type of thing. Okay, that also can lead you down a dark path. You can also find yourself in, in a situation that you cannot get yourself out of. Here we go, here we go. Moving on, moving on for our Scorpios. Oh. Break up, walking away, separation, the end. So, for some of you, you may feel like you need to hurt somebody to hurt you. Spirit is here to say that if, you, if you're unhappy, just leave this person alone. Okay, you have the strength to walk away. You can walk away. You don't have to be a hurt person that hurts a person. You can just walk away. Okay, you don't even have to explain yourself. You can just walk away. No mas. Okay? No mas. Really. If they did something to hurt you or they're doing something that is... Um... Oh, somebody's a fucking clown. That's what it is. Addiction is drinking. <coughs> Look, we got a clown. Okay, it can be you, it can be them, 
okay? So, somebody may be, um, he's not a happy clown. You know, they say that people that try to make other people uh, laugh all the time or, or may come off to try to make people think that they're happy all the time are some of the most broken people. Okay, so you may be dealing with someone like that. Performance, camouflage, laugh at, revenge again. That's revenge twice, back to back. What the hell? So you guys may be going back and forth with it. They do something stupid, you do something stupid. It's like y'all like y'all may be trying or have been trying or somewhere along the line. It's like, oh, that's what you're doing? Oh, well, how about I can do it better or I can do it worse or 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 I got you right now. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I can dig it. I can dig it because I've been there. I've been there. Mm-hmm. Been there, baby. You heard me? I got you right now. Uh, but, I, you know, you grow. You grow. You learn. You be. You do different, okay? Depending on where you at in your life. Depending on how you moving in your life depending on the lessons that are needed to be learned and if you are learning those lessons um you can just walk away it's very possible for you to just walk away um we have drinks and we have addictions um so liquor coffee tea or water who just reminded me about my coffee i don't want it to get cold And I got this fan blowing in my face. Give me a moment. Yeah, because I get cold, baby. I get cold. Uh, So, we have liquor and we have addiction, drugs, alcohol, obsession, and a to toxic attachment. And then we have divine intervention, serendipity, catalyst, and karma. So, you need to watch what's your plan. What is your intention? Okay, you need to watch your intention because... You're not the only one who likes revenge in this situation. Okay? And what goes around comes around. So, if you don't want to look like a clown or join the fucking circus, then you need to check yourself. You need to check yourself due to the fact that there's addictions going on. Someone is drinking. You may be drinking or they may drink and then say and do things that they shouldn't be saying or doing. Okay? But... It seems like there's some type of toxic attachment going on as far as um, instead of just walking away, instead of just being forgiving, instead of just trying to do the right thing, okay, it's like staying and making it worse and worse and worse, okay? So, uh, for some of you, it's like killing it, like overkill, okay, like not separating or not um pulling your energy back until it is completely and utterly done okay divine intervention says that um something will happen once the divine divine intervention is like the tower moment okay once the divine Puts his hand in it. Okay. It hits the fan. Okay. Like. Like a catastrophe. Okay. Like. Um, like the. The consequences. Are much greater. Much greater. Much greater than if you just accept. That it's no good. That you two are no good together. That it's time to walk away. That it's time for you to understand that what's not meant for you, that it's not meant for you. Okay, it's not meant for you. Um, maybe you guys are just not compatible. Um, someone uh, likes to. Someone's a clown. Okay, somebody likes to. Um, somebody maybe like a. Uh, 
it really feels like someone is hiding a hurt inside of them that they're not understanding and that they are allowing to interfere in their life that is going to cause for them to lose themselves and another. That's what I feel like. So, moving on, we're moving on. Scorpio, we're moving on into the tarot for our Scorpios. You know, sometimes it's better to just call it a day, baby. Listen, if you want to explain, right? If you want to explain. But sometimes, most times, people know what they did. They know what they're doing. Uh, a lot of people don't take accountability, so they'll lie. They will lie. They will lie to you and play with, play right in your face, which it looks like this clown is doing because he is right in her face. Okay, so do you want to go through that, having to have that conversation? That's up to you. But you can just honestly say that it's time to go due to the fact that if you stay, If you stay, it's going to end up ugly. You may end up in jail. They may end up in jail. Somebody may end up. At, we had Ghostland and we had Underworld. Okay. So, when I say it can get ugly, I mean like catastrophe. Okay. No joke. No fun. No, 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 no. Seriously. Real ugly. Real ugly. Real dark. Okay. It seems like both people are toxic. And it can get really um, out of control. Out of control is how it feels. Yes. Spirit ancestors, angel guides. Can we get clear, concise messages for our Scorpios? Picking up on the energy of our Scorpios. Thank you. We have a queen of coins in reverse. So somebody being petty. Someone is unreliable. Someone can't be trusted. Someone may be controlling. Um... Conniving. Ooh, that queen of coins in reverse feels conniving. The ten of coins in reverse. It's not a stable foundation. There is no future with this person. There is no future with this person. The ten of coins is a solid foundation. The ten of coins is a happy, um, stable environment. Okay? The ten of coins is... This ten of coins got a red light special on it. <laughs> oh my goodness. Some of the things that come out are like, whoa. You may be you may be dealing with someone that's just like um for the streets. Somebody who's for the streets. Somebody who's about the money. There's no loyalty in this person. This person is about money. So, therefore, their loyalty lies. Who got more money? Who gonna pay? Who? Like, they will... They will... Um, a person like this will uh, betray you in a heartbeat if the amount is right. If the price is right, they will betray you. Okay? Um, and the price right now with the Ten of Coins in reverse is no bueno. Okay? Challenge. Um, challenges. Control and cutting ties. The Knight of Cups. So that's that breakup. Okay. We have a Knight of Cups. Let's 
Six of Queens. Sideways. Both people is like for the streets. <laughs> oh my God. It's like both people are not loyal. There's no loyalty. There's no loyalty. There's no respect. There's no um there's no foundation. There's no structure. There's no uh -uh. So, someone may be giving, but not receiving. So, there's no reciprocation. And the reciprocation that there is, is toxic. So, we got a toxic, obsessive, uh... I didn't mean to say obsessive, but it came out, so it is what it is. We have a two of coins. We have the magician, which is a trickster. An illusionist. It's an illusion. You have the whole circus out here, baby. We have a circus. Oh, lordy, lordy, lordy. Not my circus, not my monkeys. Oh, Lord. And the Six of Swords. So, we have a magician. We have the Two of Coins, which is um, someone trying to... Uh, this is a snake, though. Um, but it seems like out of the two, there is one person who tries. Tries to give, tries to do tries to tries okay but is an illusion a trickster is manipulation okay there's some type of manipulation going on especially with the six of swords the six of swords is breaking free and moving on so it's a breakup with the ten of coins in reverse is also a breakup, right? Wasn't it? Cutting ties. Um, the magician is making me feel like it's manipulation, like someone is manipulating you. They may have something on you. They, y'all may share, okay? Y'all may share or be bonded some way. Y'all may have children. Got children. Excuse me. So it feels like someone wants to see how what what you're gonna do. What card are you gonna pick? What what's what's your next move? Okay, what's your next move? But for some of you, your next move would definitely be to walk away, to get away. Okay, to get away, to move from rocky waters into smooth sand. Okay, like actually making the decision to actually walk away from the situation that is toxic. Okay, there's no equal give and take. There's no respect. Um, there's manipulation. They may be using the children against you. They may be using the children to get what they want with the pentacles. They may be using the children to control you. It can be you. It can be them. You may be using children to control them. But one person is very materialistic. One person is very materialistic. Very materialistic. Okay, so. Let's see, let's see for our Scorpios. Scorpios, hit that like button, babies. Please subscribe, hit the notification bell, hit all so that you can be notified. As a matter of fact, if you really want to be kind, you can buy me some coffee now with the super thanks. Okay? So, 
I appreciate you guys. Uh, I think when you do the super thanks, you'll be able to get a highlighted comment. Uh, if I see you, I will shout you out. Okay, darlings. Thank you all so much for the love and support you show to my channel. I appreciate it. And we have the Two of Cups and the Nine of Queens. On the bottom of the deck, we have the Chariot. Moving on. Moving on. He said, I got to go. I got to go. So, the Six of Queens turns into the Nine of Queens, which is somebody being single. The Two of Cups is commitment, though. Moving. King of Swords. Eight of Cups. What is that? Eight of Cups is moving away. You know, re removing yourself from something emotional. An emotional situation. Okay. So. It seems like. It seems like for some of you. When it's like you're going to let go. You're going to cut the ties. You're going to move on. Because you're going to move on with someone else. Here. You're going to break free and move on towards someone else. The nine of coins is good choices. It's good choices is safe and successful. So, deciding to cut your loss. Cutting your losses, moving forward, committing to someone else, okay, and uh, that's going to put you on a path towards success. Somewhere you feel safe. Somewhere you feel at home. Somewhere where someone is not manipulating you. Um, but the chariot is BB right away. <laughs> okay. The chariot is moving. This chariot is moving. Okay, this chariot is determined. She's determined. On her way, okay? It can be she, it can be he. You already know. Tarot, gender neutral. Um, forward movement, baby. Forward movement. Trusting in yourself and freeing yourself from a situation that is toxic towards a situation that feels safe. Thank you, spirit. Yes, sir. That is what it is, baby. That is what it is. Here we go. Moving on for our Scorpios. The signs are here are Gemini, Cancer, um, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Here we go, here we go. Can be, don't have to be. Please don't stay stuck on the signs. Okay, darling? Here we go, here we go. For our Scorpios. I feel like something flew over here. Let's see. Mm -mm. Nope, nope, nope. We good. So we have an Ace of Pentacles. It's in reverse. Wrong direction. Blindsided. Wrong direction. There's a choice. That wrong direction is on top of that Queen of Queens in reverse, which makes me feel like someone who is superficial, someone who's materialistic, someone who is manipulative. Okay? Um, that shit ain't gonna work, baby. Tried to put in the work. Trying to... This person maybe have trying to been working on themselves or trying to work on the relationship. But it's on the Ten of Coins in reverse, which is a separation, which is, um, challenges, cutting your ties, right? From a Seven of Pentacles in reverse which is 
slow growth, slow growth, frustrated and impatient. So making the there was a wrong turn. You may now feel like that was the wrong decision for you or that was the wrong person for you or you went the wrong way. Um, it didn't work out. There was no growth. There was no foundation. It was slow. It was slow. It didn't, it didn't not being able to um, reap your rewards of your labor. Reap the rewards of your labor. Reap the rewards. Okay. Mm-hmm. And the uh, Three of Swords in reverse. Deciding that you want to heal um, in reverse is release, healing, accepting. So, accepting the fact that you made a bad choice. Okay, but when you accept the fact that you make a wrong choice, are you just going to be able to walk away? Or are you going to create some type of drama, some type of dilemma, some type of, are you going to blow it all up and make some type of, are you going to perform, Scorpio? Are you going to put on the performance of a lifetime? Or are you just going to go ahead and let it be? And understand and take accountability for whatever situations it may be even if it's just that this is someone that you chose to be with in your life okay even if it's just that forgive yourself forgive them and keep it pushing baby the lovers in reverse damn this this reading is in reverse in reverse in reverse Ugh. temptation imbalance Uh, situation, third party situation, treat, uh, cheating, cheating, uh, socializing. It feels like both people are for the streets, both people. Okay, there's no loyalty, there's no, no stability, there's no foundation, there's no, not even no respect. Selfish. Unable to commit. But it seems like there is someone that you do want to go towards. Especially with justice. Is making something right. Taking accountability in order to make something right. The Ten of Pentacles in reverse. This is unbelievable. <laughs> in the center. Oh, no, this one is not in reverse. Oh, sorry. This one is not in reverse. Sorry. It's just that these cards, they have that, that holographics on it. And, and my light hits it. And it's hard to see. But this ten of coins is actually upright. So, structure. Somebody's hiding in the bush, baby. Somebody hiding in the bush watching. They watching. You may be watching them. Playing the field. Um, or you may catch somebody with somebody, or they may just end up having to watch you be happy with someone else, which is what it feels like. Uh, the Ten of Pentacles upright is structure, foundation, happy life, uh, happy family with the devil. This shit is toxic as hell. Oh, Lord, mercy. Somebody may end up obsessing over the situation due to the fact that it didn't work out with them. So when they see you happy with someone else, they may bring the drama. Or they may be doing this. <coughs> creating some type of destruction in your life. Uh, it can be you. It can be them. Okay, darlings. It can be you. It can be them. So we have the devil. Devil is toxicity. Okay. Um, it can be obsession. Um, insecurities. Fear. The fear of losing you to another with the two of cups.
So this definitely may be someone that you have children with. There's a child in this picture also. Um, there's a bond. There's some type of bond. Okay. It can be y'all can have business together, share things together, like a home, a business, some type of companionship where though it's just not that easy to cut the ties. Um, or they just may feel like you belong to them or they belong to you. Okay, it can be, baby. It feels that way. Obsession. Okay. Um, we have a four of wands. It's 11 11, a soulmate connection. And we have the eight of swords in reverse, which is setting yourself free. So it feels like there's two people. I mean,. It can be more than two people, but due to the fact that people running around, it feels like people running around. People doing whatever they feel like doing. You may be doing whatever you feel like doing. They may be doing whatever they you they feel like they like doing. Um, some type of it's an illusion, right? So it's like being in a relationship, or acting like you're single, right? Okay, but it also seems down here twice. There was letting go. There was moving forward. Um, uh, the Four of Wands is stability. The Four of Wands is stability. The Four of Wands is um, union. Okay? Union. Someone you feel safe with. Someone you feel at home with. Someone you can actually create a home with. Someone you can create a life with. Okay, um, and then the, oh my goodness, I'm going to have to switch my cards up again. The Eight of Swords in reverse is freeing yourself, okay, because upright is feeling imprisoned, feeling stuck in a situation. We have the Ace of Swords on the bottom of the deck, so this is someone's truth, okay, so you may feel like, or you... You may love someone else. You may love someone else. You may be in love with someone else. You may actually try to move forward with that person. <laughs> Towards a new possibility. But there's hesitation and there's delays. And the reason why there's delays and there's hesitations is because until you don't put something to an end. Okay then you're just creating some type of cycle that's going to, can lead you to end up alone. And when I say alone, I don't mean like lonely, because you can be doing whatever. You can be with this one today and with that one tomorrow, but this, it, doesn't feel, it doesn't mean that you feel fulfilled. Okay? You can end up losing the one you with, and you can end up losing the one you love. If you don't end something. For some of you. It can be a marriage. We have a knight of wands. We have a two of swords. We have a knight of cups. Some type of apology. We have a page of cups. Some type of gift. King of pentacles. Towards the queen of cups. Oh, see, there's too many queens. There's too many queens, and then there's an empress. <laughs> Ooh, child. So there's a decision. There's decisions. Decisions that need to be made, but there needs to be cut. You need to cut ties. You need to cut ties with the toxicity. You may need to not drink so much. You may need to, if for some of you, there are some type of addictions going on. Addictions are um, anything that's too much. Too much of anything is an addiction. Okay, the devil also represents addictions. The signs are here are Gemini, again, Capricorn, Taurus, Scorpio.
Okay, the okay. So, the lovers oracles for our Scorpios. Let's see what's going on with your baby. Um, if you choose to take revenge on someone, it'll be a lose lose situation. If you choose to try to move on with someone that you love, that you care for, that you respect, someone that there is a foundation, you can have a stable foundation with. Okay, if you choose to go towards that person before you end something, you will lose both. Magnetic attraction, alluring, lust, irresistible, and flirting. Because we have death on the bottom of the three here. Death, the Scorpio card. Faded meeting. Meant to be destiny predetermined encounter. Toxic relationship. Okay, so there's someone that makes you feel like there's the possibilities. Like they um, they meet you um, where, where they, they, they meet you on your level. Okay, you may even feel like this person, it was meant to be. Y'all were meant to be together. Okay, and then there's someone who's toxic as shit. Date, courting, anniversary, meetup, relationship, commitment, partner, boyfriend, girlfriend, breakup. Scorpio, between the lines, crossroad, and a storm warning. Truth, the player, player. The grass is greener. Scorpio, my advice is that if you try to get in another relationship before the breakup, it's not going to turn out well. Right now, you may feel like you're between the lines. Okay, but there has to be a, a, a solid decision. Solid. Okay, this is ice in this card. It needs to be solid. Well, it looks like ice, but actually is a ghost land, so it probably don't even exist. Okay, but it needs to be a solid decision. A solid decision. If you decide to take revenge on someone, or if you try to be with somebody that you really want to be with, the other person is going to take it like if you're trying to, like that's your revenge against them or whatever, they're going to make it impossible. You're going to create drama in your life and it's going to destroy both parties. Hidden meaning vague, speculate, implicate. Choice, multiple options, turning point and indecisive. It has to be a solid decision because the next card up, baby, is a storm warning. Upheaval, obstacle, wrecking ball, drama. So, that's FYI, baby. That's FYI. Okay. Do the right thing so you can get the right outcome. Do the wrong thing and it's a lose-lose situation. Okay. You may have ended up in a situation that is not good for you, but it's still a decision that you made somewhere along the line in your life. It is something that you will have to uh, fix or, or, or finish or um, take responsibility, uh, accountability, however the situation may be for you before you move on and play in somebody's face that don't deserve it. Get you some advice. Let's get you some advice in love for our Scorpios. Here we go. Here we go. For our Scorpios, can we get three Scorpio? Now that it is almost the end of the vi of the reading, please don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, share. It helps the channel to move along in the algorithm. 
Okay? I appreciate you guys for it. Past lives. You have known this person before. It is a soulmate from a past life. So, one of these people is a soulmate. Okay? Um, someone you may have already known. Someone you may have already experienced in your life. Or whatever, however the situation may be. They are the one. You have already met the romantic partner you see. Which is basically what I was just trying to say. <laughs> okay, overthinking. Playing negative scenarios in your head is creating issues which weren't there at first. But it really feels like you need to be vigilant. And you really need to use good judgment. Okay, with the discernment card out here. You need to, you are developing the skill to distinguish love from fear and truth from illusion. Different paths. You are not on the same page with the person you have in mind. The direction you want to move into are different. And on the bottom of the deck, it says free yourself. Confirmation, baby. Confirmation. Tarot will tea with Lee, baby. I'm going to always bring you the tea, baby. Mm-hmm. So make sure you subscribe and push that notification bell and push all. Okay? Free yourself. You don't need to be in control of everything for a love relationship to be successful. Okay, darling? So free yourself from people, places, and things that you may be able to align with what should be but do not do it while you're in an entanglement because you're going to lose something that is actually um can be beautiful has potential for a stable foundation with the ten of cups i mean sorry with the ten of pentacles in the center of the read okay the ten of pentacles wealth support future plans goals and growth for a foundation okay okay let's get you some messages from the universe advice from the universe for our scorpios can we get some more find ways to lighten up and not take everything so seriously uh oh uh stop trying to carry the world on your shoulders Get one more for our Scorpios. One more for our Scorpios. Oops, didn't fall, so we ain't even going to dig. One more for our Scorpio spirit. Thank you. Stop giving away your power right now. Yes, yes, yes. Your life is so special. Treat it with loving care. Yes. You have a lot of potential. I feel the potential. There's potential for growth, for stability, okay? Um, but there's a need to make the right decisions. To make the right decisions at the right time, okay? Don't try to uh, overlap. Don't try to overlap. Okay, that's not what you, what you need to do. Okay, you need to sit with yourself and realize what it really, really, really is, how it really is, or whatever the situation may be. The whole entire reading on the first lay was saying, get away, let go, release yourself, move um, into calmer waters, cut ties with somebody that seems to be manipulated, someone who is an illusionist, a trickster. Okay. Somebody who is deceptive, someone who may be even narcissistic. And to be narcissistic, you can be both. You can be female, you can be male. You can be masculine, you can be feminine. Okay? It doesn't matter. So, let's go, let's go. Let's get you a message from your soulmate. Message from your soulmate. Confessions of a soulmate. I miss you. I miss you, your eyes, your smile, your voice, your scent, your touch. I am missing everything. Remember how we have connect remember how we have connected physically. I am missing everything. Remember how we have connected physically over our lifetime together. My life my love for you is boundless and unconditional. 
I miss you being next to me. Wherever I go, I search for you everywhere. That was cute. That was cute. And that was your tea, baby. Smooches.